Have you seen the favorites section above your Outlook inbox, but you're not sure how or why to use it? There are actually a lot of ways that it can save you time and make you more efficient. I'll show you how to create, customize, and even remove favorites in Outlook today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you Outlook favorites. I've had many clients who have seen it there, but they don't know how to use it. They don't know how to add to it. It just sits there and it's not really getting utilized. What that section is meant for is shortcuts to the folders that you use the most in Outlook. And those folders, if you have multiple email addresses coming into Outlook, the folders can be from any of those email accounts. I have several clients that have multiple email addresses for their business, and so they will keep each of the inboxes up at the top, and it will designate which one is which for you so that you can tell the difference. Now that you know a little more about Outlook favorites, let's look at this in action. Here we have our Outlook inbox, and up on the left here, you can see the favorite section. And the first thing I wanna show you is this little arrow. If you want to shrink it down, you can do that. My recommendation is actually to use this section to the fullest and then maybe shrink down some of the email addresses un underneath there. So you can see automatically it's pulled in the inbox for my main account and it's also pulling in the sent items, drafts and deleted items for that same account. So you can see if I click here, it's showing inbox and if I click here, it's the same inbox. If I want to add a folder to the favorites section, all I need to do is I'm going to open this up so we can see them. And let's say I want this action folder to show up here. I can do one of two things. I can click and drag it up and I'm not moving it away from that inbox. I am just creating a shortcut up here and I can let go. And you can see it still exists where it was in the first place, but it's also in my favorite section. Another way that you can do it if it's more comfortable for you is a right click. And let's say I even want to do a subfolder. I want my newsletter folder to be up here. It's a subfolder of marketing. I can do that as well. I can right click on this one and it's near the bottom, add to favorites. It will automatically put it at the bottom, but you can click and drag it wherever you would like. Are you learning something new from this video and you want to see more? If so, you can subscribe by clicking the button below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on that, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Now, if some of the preset ones aren't helpful to you, like I don't need to see my drafts usually, you can right click on those and remove it from favorites. And you can actually do that with any of these. Anything you add can be removed and anything that was already there can also be removed. If you do have multiple inboxes in your Outlook, then you can have both of them up at the top. And let me show you what happens. If I right click on this second inbox and add it to the favorites, all of a sudden it gives the email addresses for each of the inboxes so that I can tell them apart. So I can have them right next to each other and I can be able to see that this is my Outlook one and this is my Gmail one. Lastly, I want to show you what to do if you just don't like this favorite section and you're used to where your folders are. You can actually remove this so that it doesn't take up the real estate in this bar. I did show you you can shrink it, but we can even take this favorite section out completely. Where we do this is in our view menu. And then over here, it's called your folder pane. So this big guy over here is called your folder pane. And you see here, you can choose or unchoose favorites. If I take it out, favorites is gone. And then when I put it back, it should be just the way I left it. Yes, with all of those folders in there. Hopefully you can see how much time you can save by creating this favorite section and putting lots of things in there that you access frequently. It makes you more efficient. And as I said, it saves you time overall. It may seem like a small thing, but think about the amount of times that you are hunting for a certain folder and what would happen if you put that up at the top and you no longer had to search. I hope you feel much more comfortable using the Outlook favorite section now, but if you feel like you still need help with this or any other tech challenges you have, you can always schedule a tech stress breakthrough call. The link is right up here, 
And then it's also gatewayproductivity.com slash booking. Or you can just go to the main page and click on Let's Talk. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.